Okay, I tried asking these guys um, what it will cost to take me to Maotau, but it's actually quite far away, it's about 15 kilometers. But I don't think it's the distance so much, I think it's the roads and the way they have to drive. And I don't also think that they travel that far with these things. I think they just do like short little trips around the area. So I'm gonna call a Grab or I'm gonna call Bolt. I'm gonna find a bike. It will cost me probably about 100 baht, which is okay. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Because I don't feel like taking the train again because I've got to take a train and a bus and do some walking. So it's quite a bit of uh, logistics that you've got to consider. And uh, right now I just feel like hopping on and hopping off. And that's it. Right, so I'm going to get that vault. Just need to find a place to sit and maybe have a drink. And then we'll uh, get that ride. Fancy tuk tuk, I gotta say. Pump my ride. Right, I see a little market, guys, so maybe I'll get something to eat real quick. Because if my ride comes, then it's all the way home. Bought a lot. Nothing happening here. Just seemed like it. Driving in one minute. There we go. It's gonna cost me 109 baht. As we say, farewell to Wat Po Temple, the reclining Buddha. That's my guy. Thank you. Okay, man. All right. Bye, nice. How are you doing? I'm safe at home. Whew, just give me a minute. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys, I just gotta say, after every bike ride, I'm just grateful to be alive, man. <laughs> wow, these guys are next level. Uh, but I gotta hand it to them. They know how to take a gap. But uh, to be honest, I'm only fearing losing a kneecap because they go so close to these cars, in between the cars, and I'm just worried about my, my kneecaps going against these uh, the side mirrors. But okay guys, I survived. But you know what? I know the risks, man. So uh, it's all good. Whew, happy to be alive. <laughs> Most now just happened. 
one by one. So the bike tried to squeeze through this gap. And as we squeezed through, the passenger in this taxi just opened the door and it knocked my knee. Ooh. Check it out, man. I don't know if you can see it, guys. That's the lady. <laughs> but she's been so apologetic, shame. It's okay, ma'am. No worries, it's not your fault. Okay. That's the grab of the cab. Obviously, there was a big argument. But it's okay, it's not that bad. My legs are broken. I didn't lose a kneecap. Ooh, but it's just, it just scraped really. But the impact felt really, really hard. And I'm right here. It's right at the Icon Siam Mall. Look at that. Right there, man. All right, guys. Okay. That's the end of the bike rides for me. <laughs> I think what I feared most, maybe I called it into existence. I shouldn't have said it in the first place. But anyway guys, it is what it is, these things happen. I have arrived at the Icon Siam um, shopping mall. I'm not really staying at the mall, I might have to come back here later. I think I want to visit the mall in the evening. It's a bit more, more spectacular I think. But right now, let's just have a look. It's not that bad. I think I'll just get some uh, something to clean it with. Just an antiseptic or something. Uh, and that's it. I felt much worse when uh, at the immediate impact. But it's okay now. I suppose I'll feel some discomfort throughout the day and maybe later this evening. Check out this mall, man. 